The first meeting is the first of many steps you and your mentee will take together. The goal for your first meeting is to begin to get to know one another. The first meeting is not supposed to be where everything is sorted out and the relationship is built. It's where you can say hello and share a few things about each other. Mentoring is a process, not an event. As you learned in Module 3, your mentee may have completed an assessment with the referring agency. You may be given some information about the reason your mentee was selected and some of the areas of concern. You may also learn whether your mentee is still attending school, and if they are, information on their attendance, behavior, and academic performance may be shared with you. Use the information as background information, but try to approach your first meeting with your mentee with an open mind. Some mentees may see the opportunity to work with somebody with whom they have no history as a chance for a clean slate, giving them an opportunity for reinvention. At the first meeting, you need to talk about a couple of important things. The frequency of your meetings and confidentiality. The program guidelines recommend weekly meetings. You and your mentee together should figure out what day works best for both your schedules. You may want to schedule a couple of meetings once you're together at the first meeting. Here's a tip. If your mentee's in school, go to the school's website and review the school calendar so you can work around professional development days when there's no school and know when the testing periods, things like midterms and finals are. And have them check with their employer if they're working uh, so they can try get a feel for what their future work schedule may look like. Choosing a location to meet your mentee is worth a bit of consideration. You want the location to be somewhere where you can both feel secure, have a bit of privacy. Here are some things to consider. Accessibility. How will the mentee get there? Walking? Taking public transportation? And security. Is it a public space or is it at the school? You want privacy and you want to be visible to others, both for your security and for that of your mentee. We recommend you discuss setting the location with your mentee. You may want to develop some options to share during the conversation in case your mentee doesn't have any ideas. You'll also need to discuss the timing of your meeting. The timing should be convenient for you both and keep the meeting to no more than an hour. Your mentee may have spent all day in school, so sitting for another hour, maybe all day, and you can manage without fading. Figure out how long the meeting will last. An hour gives you lots of time for talking and is a really common length. During the conversation with your mentee, confirm contact information and make sure your mentee knows how to reach you in the days leading up to the meeting. You may want to text a confirmation of meeting location and timing to your mentee. You may also want to text a reminder the day before Many, perhaps most young people, prefer texts to emails or phone calls. And planning is a skill in development, so take the lead when it comes to providing reminders and check-ins. During the first meeting, you and your mentee need to talk about confidentiality, theirs and yours. Over the course of your mentoring program, you and your mentee are going to be discussing a lot of important and sensitive things to create an environment where your mentee can feel safe about sharing, holding things in confidence is essential. Most of what your mentee shares with you is strictly between the two of you. Make sure your mentee knows you won't share their name or contact information with anyone. Details of your meetings, your conversations are also just between the two of you. But not everything you and your mentee discuss will be confidential. You want to be open with your mentee about what those things are. Firstly, you may get information about your mentee from different places, the referring agency, or perhaps their school. That information may be about their grades, attendance, and behavior. You'll discuss these things with your mentee and with their supportive adults. Secondly, if your mentee shares information that indicates their safety is at risk, you need to take action. 
Abuse or violence needs to be reported. You'll find more information in the toolbox. Thank you.